welcome to e patachala today let us talk about data sources and software tools for bibliometric studies you have learnt about bibliometrics in earlier units you are already familiar with the subject field bibliometrics and its uses it is one of the upcoming areas of research in library and information science in this particular unit we will be discussing about the way in which we have to collect data for bibliometrics the different data sources that we could use the differences between the data sources and the difference uh, or the different tools available for bibliometric analysis you may be wondering to know that many of these tools are available in open source environment which you can use it for many of your bibliometric studies the aim of this particular unit is not to make you expertise on any one of these tools but to make you aware about the possibilities of various sources and tools available for bibliometric studies after completing this module you will be able to understand the parameters used for bibliometric analysis you will be able to know various bibliographic and citation databases used as data sources in bibliometric studies you will also able to appreciate the relative merits and limitations of these databases and you will get yourself familiarize with some of the software tools for bibliometric analysis and also understand the basic features of a few software tools used for bibliometric analysis bibliometrics is a field of study which deals with the study of scientific publications bibliometrics has two basic purposes on which it is based upon the first one is it scholars publish articles and bibliometrics study about them and the second purpose is it studies about the impact of such publications as a discipline bibliometric has two basic assumptions laid therein scholars publish their research work through publications is one of the assumptions the second one is they cite earlier articles which influences their research many a times these assumptions have been accepted as a genuine assumptions on which the field of bibliometrics is based upon and sometimes these assumptions have been criticized by the scholars now let us try to understand the reason why scholars publish scholars researchers faculty members they publish lot of their research work in journals conference proceedings and things like that one should try to understand the reason why they tend to publish their research work 
one of the reasons why they publish is that they want their research work to be known to the outside world. This is a very obvious reason. On the other hand, in the scientific community, there is a phenomenon called publish or perish. If the academic community and research community wants to survive in their field, wants to prove themselves in the field, either they have to publish or they will lose their recognition. This is the reason why they publish their research findings. Now, these publications form the data source for bibliometric studies. One of the questions that rise, one of the questions that you may ask is from where the data for bibliometric studies need to be collected from. You can collect the data directly from the primary sources. On the other hand, you can also collect the data from secondary sources. When I say primary sources, it means you are collecting the data from journals, books, conference proceedings, etc. directly. One of the problems in collection of data from, uh, from primary sources is that it is very laborious and one may not be very comprehensive in collection of data. Sometimes it becomes next to impossible task to collect all the data that is published in a particular field of study. Thanks to the secondary sources, what we call the databases. These databases serve us as a source of data for bibliometric studies. These databases could be classified into two different categories. One is bibliometric databases. Sorry. The databases can be categorized into two categories. One is bibliographics databases and the second one is citation databases. Let us try to understand a few of them. Let us try to understand some of the data sources for bibliometrics. The most widely used data sources for bibliometrics will be discussed here. For the sake of objectivity, I have listed these data sources in the alphabetical order and the list is not comprehensive by no means. It is just an illustrative list. Let us first take chemical abstract service popularly called CAS. This is one of the data source normally used by bibliometricians. This particular source is published by a division of American Chemical Society. Its objective is to find, collect and organize all publicly disclosed substances, uh, substance information. The second most widely used data source is Sightseer X. It is an evolving scientific literature digital library and it also serves as a search engine. The focus of this particular database is computer and information science. The data source that is quite popular published by Elsevier is Compendex. It is the most comprehensive bibliographic database covering all engineering disciplines. Its coverage period starts from 1870 itself. It has more than 15 million records across 190 engineering disciplines. If you are doing bibliometric study in engineering field, you should not miss this particular source of data. ERIC is another source 
from where you can get the publication details related to education. The Education Resources Information Center is the expanded form of ERIC. It is an online digital library of education research and information. ERIC is sponsored by Institute of Education Sciences of the United States Department of Education. ERIC provides ready access to education literature, support the use of educational research and information to improve practice in learning, teaching, educational decision making and research. One of the upcoming data sources which is popularly being used by many bibliometricians is Google Scholar. Google Scholar was started in 2004. It is popular because it is freely available. Because of free availability and indexing different forms of scholarly information other than journals also, Google Scholar has become quite popular. Inspec is another database with 13 million abstracts and specialized indexing to the world's quality research uh, literature in the field of electronics, computer science, physics, elect uh, electrical control, production and mechanical engineering since 1960s. It is said that INSPEC's uh, coverage is quite comprehensive in nature. Coming to library and information science, we do have LISA, Library and Information Science Abstract. It is an international abstracting and indexing tool which you can use as a data source for conducting bibliometric study in the field of library and information science. Similarly, you have different databases in different subject field. For example, Math Science Net is an electronic database of reviews, abstracts and bibliographic information for mathematical sciences. PubMed, a widely used data source in the field of medicine. It covers the literature from 1879 onwards. Medline contains journal citations and abstracts for biomedical literature in many languages from around the world. Since 1996, free access to Medline has been available to the public online via PubMed. It comprises more than 22 million citations for biomedical literature from Medline, life science journals and online books. Scopus is one of the citation databases of peer-reviewed literature with smart tools that track, analyze and visualize research. It is a competitor for web of knowledge, web of science published by Thomson and Reuters. Web of knowledge or web of science formerly published by ISI is a product of Thomson and Reuters. It is today's premier research platform for information in the sciences social sciences, arts and humanities. It is a suite of databases containing about 25 different databases. As I said earlier, these data sources can be categorized into two categories. One is bibliographic databases and another one is citation databases. Let us try to understand the subtle difference between these two. Bibliographic databases or indexes are good for finding additional materials written about a public um, particular subject. Just like a bibliography at the end of a paper, a bibliographic database can provide you with citations for further study and documentation on a subject. They may also contain the summary of the article. When I say bibliographic information, it includes the title of the articles, the journal name, author, date of publication, volume, issue number and so on and so forth. Among the databases which we listed earlier, Compendex, ERIC, LISA, INSPECT, Math Science, PubMed belong to this particular category of databases. The second type of database is the citation database. Citation database slightly differ in their content with what that of bibliographic databases. Citation as you are aware is a best practice among scholarly community, uh, community to acknowledge the ideas taken from earlier 
works the acknowledgement will be the will be in the form of references at the end of the articles citation databases are specific for presenting each article included in the database citation databases are specific for presenting each article included in the database also by the list uh, respective list of references in addition to bibliographic record these lists of references are called cited references the search according to cited references is more complete because it enables target follow up of a particular topic though uh, through all articles on the topic which are included in the database citations are presumed to be related to topic of the current paper by their contents irrespective of the reasons for their citing cite crex web of uh, knowledge google scholar and scopus are the examples for citation databases the databases like the ones listed above contribute a bibliometric studies in two different ways they act as a reliable data sources for bibliometric studies and the databases do provide some analytical tool for bibliometric studies as a source of data different bibliometric studies can be conducted using the databases as discussed in various studies the studies earlier studies used different fields or data elements for their analysis they include subject oriented fields such as classification codes descriptors identifiers etc type of publication like journal paper conference paper book patent etc source such as journal title code n issn number etc and so on and so forth manual bibliographic bibliometric analysis is often cumbersome and tedious in nature thanks to the development of information and communication technologies the databases provide fast inexpensive advanced domain dependent reliable and reproducible analytical tools also article counting on different attributes of duplicate items frequency analysis defining of subsets ranking of specific criterion h index calculations etc are all possible with modern databases let us now take three different studies as case studies to understand how these databases can be used in fact these case studies talk about the data source and they they, they compare the data source with one another let me give you the outcome of the case study 1 hayes e and coogan compared two databases in their work google scholar versus academic search premier what libraries and searchers need to know they frame four different questions for searching databases the results were analyzed only the top 10 items of each search set were examined for relevance full text availability full text effort currency and overlap let me give you the results of that particular case study the authors of the study conclude that asp that is academic search premier outperforms google scholar in terms of higher relevance and more free text availability and easy access to full text more effective advanced searching on the other hand google scholar outperform asp in terms of newer items though there is a very slight advantage when limiting by date google scholar retrieves more items plus more asp items are indexed by google scholar than the other way around google scholar covers some types of materials not readily found in databases such as books gray literature and things like that when one compares the top 10 results it was found that similar searches in asp and gs that is google scholar produced 
different results and thus the author conclude that ASP is a good primary tool for bibliometric search, GS is a good supplement and they give the caution that searchers may want to use both systems to have the best world of um, best of the both worlds. Let me take another study as case study 2. Orgillo study on is Google Scholar useful for bibliometrics, a bibliometric analysis. It is argued that Google Scholar is replacing other citation database as data source. Without looking into the methodology of the study, let us try to understand only the results of that particular study. It was found that Google Scholar was not designed as a direct competitor to the other citation databases, although it is becoming a kind of a very strong competitor. It is really a huge database and Google is clearly intending to enlarge its coverage not only by adding additional sources but by collecting every type of scientific material available from the public web. It is suggested that Google Scholar can be used but with care, especially regarding the items not overlapping with those present in the Scopus and WOK that is web of knowledge. Let us conclude by taking up another study by Meho and Yong. They studied the impact of data sources on citation counts and ranking of LIS faculty, Web of Science versus Scopus and Google Scholar. Some of the suggestions made by them include that Scopus and WOS Web of Science could significantly alter the ranking of authors. The study also found that Google Scholar stands out in its coverage of conference proceedings as well as international non-English language journals among others. Google Scholar also indexes a wide variety of document types, some of which may be significant value to the researchers and others. We have so far understood various bibliometric data sources. As I told you earlier, the analysis of the data can be done using many source, uh, many software tools available open source. I will just name them here. Bib Excel is one of the good tool that you can use. Scholarometer is another tool normally used by the researchers. His site is one more tool that you can try. Site space is also attracted the attention of many bibliometric researchers. For bibliometric studies, it is important that you select a good source. You should understand that no source is completely comprehensive in nature, but you do not have to go for a very comprehensive source also. The bibliometric results works on law of averages. Hence, if you collect sufficiently huge data and generalize your result, it is good enough. Before conducting the bibliometric study, try to understand the advantages and limitations of the bibliometric data source that you are using and also the tool that you are using. With this, you can conduct a lot of bibliometric studies.